And so uh, we really have to believe before we speak. <laughs> and that will uh, make, a, that will take off the limitations of our prayers. So let's look here in Corinthians Biet, uh, 4 and 13. But having the same spirit of belief according to what has been written, I believe, therefore I spoke. This is Sheol talking. We also believe, therefore we also speak. So to set laws in place, we, something has to happen before something else is activated. Um, you can't uh, start a car without um, an engine. <laughs> okay, so you have, you, know, you have the body, you have the engine, you have wheels to make it go. You can't do things out of order and expect it to go somewhere. So we have to believe before we speak. If we're just speaking based off of what we heard without knowledge and understanding, then what we're doing is we are uh, just hoping. <laughs> That's pretty much it. Uh, but when you actually understand the Father, you understand his precepts, you understand his laws, and you're praying those, you're petitioning the throne of heaven based off the rights that you understand that you have as a kingdom citizen, then, that, I mean, we said it here. The, the, it says the, the uh, Father's word won't return unto him void. All right, you're praying with knowledge and understanding, so therefore it happens because you... You believe, you know, that this is uh, not just a word operating, but this is that uh, what we talked about faith, that this is immune. That is that operating, all right? Uh, because you're using uh, faith. Faith is knowledge. When you know how to use the word in order to activate those laws so that, uh, what, so that when situations come up, uh, when things happen, um, that you're not already like, being proactive, but you've already, because you have knowledge and understanding, your prayers, I'm, I'm sorry, have been reactive. Because you've been praying with knowledge and understanding, your prayers have been proactive. You understand that things are already done for you. Elder Demetrius talked about this. There are things that people are, are praying for that they shouldn't be because they you really should be operating the laws. And when you're operating the laws, some prayers shouldn't, shouldn't be said because there's no need for it, all right? Uh, because when Yeshua walked on water, he didn't pray to the Father to walk on water. He walked on a law, all right? Now, when uh, the uh, the water was, you know, it was a great storm, and it was in chaos, and things were happening, you know, Yeshua said, Shalom. He, did, he didn't beg the Father to help him, all right? So when we understand how to use prayer effectively, we understand the laws and how it is to be used, and speaking his word based off of his precepts, then what prayer becomes is a, a way of communication so that not only are we speaking to the, the, the throne of heaven, are we speaking that to the Father, but now we can also receive and understand how during prayer that we can receive uh, what the Father, because we've created that avenue, that channel, for now uh, the Father to speak to us and allow us to be conformed even during that time of prayers in the presence, all right? And so we get more understanding of that the more that we conform our belief system to him. 